Uh, my name is Randy Scott. I'm the executive chairman of Genomic Health. Oncotype DX uh, is a breast cancer test that, quite simply, for women who are diagnosed with early stage breast cancer, helps predict the likelihood of recurrence and the likelihood of response to chemotherapy. And it allows women and their physicians to make better treatment decisions on whether they should get chemotherapy or not. I think it was just very clear that, that there was a convergence of uh, having clinicians on our team who were very experienced in breast cancer, of the potential importance and power of genomics in cancer, which is really a genomic disease, um, and the fact that breast cancer was one of the most prominent cancers with probably the largest consumer advocacy groups behind it who were really calling for you know, better treatment, better cures. It very quickly coalesced to breast cancer is the right place to start uh, with the view that you know, if we can't succeed in breast cancer, it's going to be even harder to succeed in any, any other uh, cancer. Well, I think one of the things you think of as a startup or an entrepreneur, entrepreneurial company is trying to knock out the risks every step of the way. And, and so we think of those bumps in the road as they're really all the different risks. It starts out with technology risks, uh, which we actually solved the technology risk within the first six months of the company. So that was pretty exciting because we weren't sure if we could do the, the science and technology that would be necessary to build our first uh, product. Uh, and once we had that, we really started to focus in on the clinical risks that we could actually prove that we can improve clinical outcomes. Uh, and then thirdly, and, and perhaps most importantly, what are the commercial risks? If, if we launch this test, will physicians adopt it? And just as importantly, will payers pay for it? Uh, could we get the test reimbursed? And I think within our field, the area of reimbursement and getting payers to cover was one of the toughest hurdles. And so it actually took us several years to get reimbursed uh, for the test from the time we first launched in January of 2004 it was probably three to four years before we got routine coverage by uh, the health insurance uh, companies. But we would actually argue, even in the short run, that our test has a dramatic reduction in the cost of the healthcare system. Uh, the typical diagnostic is only about a $30 test. Uh, our diagnostic test is, uh, is considered more expensive because it's uh, uh, t today priced at about $3,900. But what people miss out of that is that the women who get our test are at a critical junction in which they have to decide whether to get chemotherapy or not. Now, the cost of chemotherapy will run between fifteen dollars to $20,000, and given the number of adverse events and toxicities associated with chemotherapy, it can actually be an additional ten dollars to $15,000 per patient who gets chemotherapy. So the reality is in our healthcare system, we're kind of looking at things the wrong way. People shouldn't look and say, well, gee, this sounds like an expensive test because most diagnostics are $30. They should look and say, well, wow, we're spending anywhere from fifteen dollars to $30,000 per patient for chemotherapy that only works 4% of the time. So we're probably saving two, well, on the order of $2,000 per patient just in terms of use of chemotherapy. We're absolutely convinced that Oncotype DX is really putting the control of a treatment decision back into the hands of patients and physicians, and particularly it allows patients to engage in a way they never could before, because our test actually provides a score between zero to 100. The higher the score, the more aggressive the tumor, but the more likely to respond to chemotherapy. So you know you need aggressive treatment. The lower the score, the less aggressive the tumor, and for patients, for about half the patients, they have scores that are so low that, in fact, we can show chemotherapy doesn't help those patients. Well, our, our dream is that within the next 10 to 15 years that every patient who gets diagnosed with cancer in the United States uh, gets oncotyped. Uh, just like you would get blood typed for a blood transfusion or tissue uh, typed for a transplant, that we want this to be routine across all cancers. So with over a million patients uh, diagnosed with cancer every year, we think the first rational step would be let's analyze the molecular profile of that cancer and then individualize treatment specifically uh, for them.